reaction has been swift and loud, so much that the Dutch publisher of a new book about Anne Frank suspended printing and apologized. They don't confront their conclusions with the opinion of other uh, historians who are involved in this field of research. A team of Dutch investigators led by a retired FBI agent examined almost three dozen scenarios looking at who could have led the Gestapo to the hiding place of the Frank family. The most likely culprit, they said, a Jewish notary, Arnold Vandenberg. But some historians have raised concerns over the circumstantial nature of the evidence and the dismissal of other theories. Critiques the investigative team responded to in detail in a post online, arguing those critiques were taken into account and they weren't the first ones to put forward Vandenberg's name. But many in the Jewish community fear the conclusion will only feed a recent rise in anti-Semitism. There are enough of uh, uh, the enemies of the Jews who are only ha too happy uh, to make this symbolic person into one who was betrayed by fellow Jews. The book, at worst, feeds into something much more insidious, which is Holocaust denial, Holocaust in uh, inversion, distortion. Neither the book's Canadian author or investigative team replied when asked for an interview, but the English publisher said in a statement, at this time our publishing remains on track. While we recognize the strong reaction to the findings, the investigation was done with respect and the utmost care for an extremely sensitive topic. Well, we are fortunate enough at VHEC to have the first edition of Anne Frank's Diary. Some are looking for something positive to come from the controversy. We're hoping that what really will come out of this is increased awareness and inspire you know, opportunities for continued learning and education. Hoping the passage of time won't erase the horrors that happened more than 70 years ago. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.